in order to use our characters in different projects. So if we have a scene that we're creating where we have multiple characters, we've mostly looked at building a character in a single project, but that doesn't make it reusable, that we can move it from scene to scene, which ultimately should be our goal. To do that, while I'm in my node view, what I want to do is I want to select all the nodes that are relevant to my character. So in this case, everything except right and display. So I should be ending on a composite and I should have a master peg at the top for my character. If I right click, then we are going to just choose group selection. And now I'm going to name this slug dash G, close it. So now this is ready for me to turn into a template so I can do something with it. So what I will do is I will, I can right click and copy or I can just select it and copy, select it, edit, copy, all of those things work. But with it selected, what we need to do is navigate to our library window. The library window is going to allow us to save our template files. Now when we're working in the library window, we'll notice that we have a bunch of options. You'll probably just start out with uh, one, the Toon Boom Premium Library, and you'll see these little lock symbols. And what that means is we can select this, but we can't modify it until we right click on it and choose Write to Modify. So if I open up, I can see here I have a previous folder. Go here. Um, oh, it, and right now it's uh, building some thumbnails for me. Because of the view, if we change our view that we're looking at, this is the default view. We can go to a thumbnail view. It works on building thumbnails. Let's start, go back to the default view. So I have some templates for characters I've made previously. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new folder to my library. So to do that, I right click and we'll choose open library. Now, library is just really harmony or Toon Boom's way of saying, hey, I want to open this directory or folder on my computer. Currently there's my desktop. I don't want to be there. I'm going to move over into my class files, go into animation, and I've made a folder where I'm going to put some templates here called the folder character templates and I'm just going to open this as my library so we can see it says character templates the nice part is when I choose that I'm going to be able to then every time I go to my library window that will be there and I can go grab these characters so I don't have to dig in like here digging in and digging in to go find it so I select that folder now I can't put my template here yet until I right click and choose write to modify and when I do that the little lock disappears. Now I can write to this window and because I copied that, I can right click and choose paste. It says hey what do you want to call it and I'll say I'll call it slug group TPL or template. And there it is. Now what's kind of fun about this is let's just go open a new folder we'll call this templates test and I'm not going to save that because I don't need it saved because I saved it before I made the template and now it opened up a new item now to use what's in here, I don't have to grab um, the template, or I, I don't have to choose right click, right to modify. I can just drag this out to here. I can drag it into my node view. If I do, and attach this into my composite, we'll see it adds that character. So it's really important that we do group it before we do it, otherwise it gets kind of ugly. So I'm going to open a different file that I had been working on. Oh, that's the same one we were just in. My bad. 
and I meant to open this one. So right now, slightly more complex than the slug because we have an eye layer as well. So if I select all of these items here, copy it, go up to my library, write to modify, paste, it's telling me, hey, I can do that. And I don't really care what the name is. We're going to be deleting this because it's going to be a train wreck. Now it's been added. Now if we go into my template test file, no, we're not going to save that. I do wish uh, I could have multiple files open at the same time. That would be fantastic, but unfortunately, when working on a Mac, Harmony only allows for a single file to be open. So now if I go and drag this out, we'll see that put all of those nodes in here and it kind of makes a mess. And this is a simple character. If I had a complex character with hundreds of nodes, that'd be a mess. So we don't want to do it that way. So let's go back and repeat that process. Wait for it to open. So the first step is to make sure I have a composite. I have a master for it. I'm going to select all of this, copy. Let's take a look at my library. Write to modify. And this time when I paste, we'll rename this Beardo. Oh, hang on. Almost repeated the same mistake. Select all of it. Group selection. Let's rename it. Beardo G. Close that. Now with that selected, copy that. Now let's go back over into character templates. So let's just delete the ones we don't care about. And now when I paste this in, paste in that group template, fantastic. Now I'm not gonna save this, so we'll just go open up our template test. Don't save. Once again, go to my character templates. I can drag character out. Attach it to my scene. There it is. Now it's begging to have a, a scene peg so that I can scale my character group to fit my scene. So I'll probably want to scale this down. Fit this character over here. Grab this character. Scale it down. Position them as I see fit within my scene. So now they're relatively placed and I can build out my environment, set up a camera, bring in some audio, lip sync, and have a two character scene. So working with templates allows us to move characters from project to project so we can add them to different scenes. Eventually, your character template folder is going to have lots of characters. You can have props. You can also have just collections of nodes. So as we build a more complex version of AutoPatch, we can save that out as a template into our template folder. So we can just drag it back into our node and because it'll be a group. So every time we make something into a group, groups are really easy to then store in our templates and then when we do that we can save ourselves lots and lots of time while we're working.